and you're watching Innovative Amazing Science with Sonana. I believe that you're doing great, so am I. So let's hear another interesting story of my childhood. My native is quite a distance from the city. It is a 10 hours journey by train through the village landscape. My grandparents stay there and I'm always overexcited to visit my village for more than one reason. The air is clean and the whole environment is so much relaxed that it makes you slip immediately into the comfort zone. I still remember it was the month of May when I was in my grade fifth and I went to meet my grandparents. Meeting them is always super fun as you get lots of different types of food items to eat, you get time to play with them, and last but not the least, you get to hear many stories. In short, you actually get the freedom to do everything. One day, after having lunch, as usual, me and my brother sat to hear stories from grandma. In the backyard, we had a pond and lush greenery and many plant pots. Before grandma could start with the story, it started to rain heavily and we enjoyed every bit of it. Then the rain stopped and we could see the rainbow in the sky as well as it reflected on the pond. As it was summer time, the plants in the pots soaked the water as fast as they could. It felt like as if the water walked inside the plants. So me and my brother were super excited and asked grandma to say a story about a rainbow. Then she started. Once upon a time, the colors of the world started to quarrel. All claimed that they were the best, the most important and the most useful and the favorite of everyone. Green said, I am the sign of life and hope. Without me, everyone would die. Blue interrupted and said, it is the water that is the basis of life. Yellow chuckled and said, I bring laughter and without me, there would be no fun. Orange started to blow her trumpet and said, I am the color of health and strength. My beauty is so striking that no one gives another thought of any of you. Red could stand it no longer. He shouted and said, I am the ruler of all of you. I am blood. Life is blood. Purple rose up to his full height and said, I am the color of royalty and power. Finally, Indigo spoke with much determination and said, I am the color of silence. You need me for balance and contrast. So all the colors went on boasting and quarreling, each convinced of their own superiority. In the midst of the clamor, Rain began to speak and said, Don't you know, you were each made for a special purpose, unique and different. So join hands and come to me. And he continued, From now on, when it rains, each of you will stretch across the sky in a great bow of colors as a reminder that you can all live in peace. So rainbow is the sign of hope. And finally, the story ended. I was totally lost. As it was a vacation time, we kept on doing many things. So me and my brother thought something interesting we should do. And like uh, we thought of combining the factor of this rainbow and the soaked of water in the plants. Or basically, you can say the walking water which traveled so fast. So if you want to know what exactly we planned and how we were successful, stay tuned with me and let's get started. Next required are some water, here are some glasses, 
then paper towels I have taken. Here are some coloring liquids and some droppers. So my first step is, I'll teach you how to make the paper rolls. Here I have already made some and kept it. So this is my paper towel. We'll just turn once, twice and thrice. So after doing it three times fold, we'll just fold it again and just at the center bend it. So our paper towel is ready. So here I have some. So my first step is I'm going to arrange my glasses. So for this I require seven glasses. I'll just arrange this. And then I will fill the glasses with water. But while you are filling the glasses with water, you have to be careful. And uh, one more thing you have to remember, we don't have to fill all the glasses with water. We have to fill every alternate glass. So the first glass I filled with water. So I leave my second glass. Then I'll move to the third one. Then the fifth one and then the seventh one which is the last one. Okay. Now I'll use the coloring agents. So I have the three colors with me. I'll start using them. You can use any colors of your choice, any sequence also. It is up to you. So few drops of coloring agents I'm going to add to the first glass. So I've added magenta and I like this color. So I'm going to add the same thing for the last glass also because I love this color very much. So I'm going to add this. Then I will be using yellow color to my third glass. Now we are left for the fifth glass. So I will be using cyan color. This is cyan. So I will be using cyan color to my fifth glass. And my next step is what I will do is I'll start putting the paper towels. Like this you have to put okay on each glass.
okay now you can see that i have kept all the glasses and i have arranged my paper towels and we have to wait for some time maybe for 5 to 6 hours or 8 to 10 hours we don't know we have to wait for some time and let's see what is happening and how our water is walking or what is happening let us just observe so we are meeting almost after half an hour and you can see our water have started to walk if you closely look at each of this paper towels the paper towels have absorbed and they have started to walk so we'll wait for some more time and let's see what is happening so now i just have kept this arrangement without disturbing for about 12 to 13 hours and can you see how the color has changed and in fact the walking water concept is clear now remember that we had filled only four glasses with water and the alternate glasses in between were without the water so we had filled the glasses up to the rim most probably but then when the water traveled from one glass to another so if you carefully observe the level of the water it's more or less the same in all the glasses if you observe properly to all the glasses we had used different colors and suppose here if you take a look it was magenta and cyan so combination of these two colors gave rise to another color and here we had used cyan and yellow can you see combination of cyan and yellow gave rise to green over here and here we had used yellow and magenta and the color which came out of yellow and magenta is almost reddish orangish color. Now let us understand the science behind our activity. So the colored water moved up the paper towel by a process called capillary action. Capillary action is the ability of a liquid to flow upward against the gravity in narrow space. So this is the same thing that helps water climbing from the tree's roots to its leaves at the top. So the adhesive forces between the water and the fibers of the paper towel are stronger than the cohesive forces between the water molecules. As a result, the water traveled up and across the paper towel out from one glass to another glass. So the paper towels are made from plant fibers called cellulose. In a walking water experiment, the water flowed upward through the tiny gaps between the cellulose fibers. The attractive forces between the water and the cellulose fibers made this possible. And this very experiment is also a great example of color mixing. If you enjoy this activity, do like it. And do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is wider on your screen. And if you wish to share your experience with everyone, do put it in the comment section or to write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos, I can share your experience through an experiment with everyone. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.